Good morning, class family. It's a wonderful Wednesday. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you're a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Start with the date. December 6th, 2023. Dear class family, today is Wednesday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will learn letters and sounds. Next, we will go on Lexia and do literacy centers. Then, we will expand vocabulary by listening to books. Last, we will write our first and last name. It is a great day. Love, Miss Joyner. Oh, it is a great day. It's fantastic. Get your fans ready. Fan. Fantastic. Let's look back and reread the message. Remember, good readers read things again. It's called rereading. They do this so their brain can understand the words on the page. Use your finger to point. Start in the top right-hand corner with today's date. I noticed the abbreviation for this month. Remember, that's the shortened way to write it. There's a cap letter, D-E-C, period. What does that abbreviation stand for? We'll say it out loud. If you said December, great job. All right, notice how there is a capital letter to start. Good writers and mathematicians always capitalize the first letter in each month of the year because it's special and important. They also capitalize the first letter in each day of the week. All right, let's reread. December 6, 2023, dear class family, after our greeting, look at the first telling sentence. I noticed a bigger space to indent or jumpstart this paragraph. Good writers indent and leave a bigger finger space to jumpstart each paragraph within their writing. Also, I see a capital letter T that starts that sentence too. Good writers capitalize the first letter in every sentence. Notice all of the capital letters that start every telling sentence in our message. As we are rereading, we're gonna see the sequence of events that we're doing in language arts, first, next, then, and last. But also notice those uppercase letters and punctuation marks. Remember, good writers know where to use those within their writing. Today is Wednesday. It is Wednesday, and it's a wonderful Wednesday. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family. You know we do that every day to be a portrait of a graduate. And we do this by practicing being a great communicator and collaborator. So remember to speak clearly with your mouth and listen with their, your ears. That's what good communicators do. All right. First, we will learn letters and sounds. Just like we do every day at school in kindergarten, we'll use so many resources to pump our brains with knowledge and become fantastic readers and writers. We'll use our word walls or resource with the foundations cards, review ABCs, letters, sounds, pictures match that word, American Sign Language. Shout out to some YouTube channels, Jack Hartman's Mr. B's is singing Walrus and the Learning Station will be using your resources today. Okay. On this word wall resource, the vowels have red in the background. So look at the cards with the red in the background and review the short vowel sounds at this time. Ready? A, apple, a, e, ed, e, i, itch, i, o, octopus, a, and u, up, a. In addition to the letters and the sounds and pictures, we're going to also use the words on the words wall as a resource because you need to know, read, and spell these words to get ready for first grade. We're going to use our sound wall as a resource. We have one in the classroom projected and an electronic version because we're also using UFLY. And we'll use those resources to review all of the letters, the consonants, the vowels. We're going to be practicing dun, 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 phonemic awareness, tapping the beginning, middle, and ending sound and saying that whole word. 
We're going to also check out another decodable book today. So I hope you brought your reading bag back to school with your reading journal inside because we're going to be looking back at that, finding the next page. And then after reading the decodable book together in class, we're going to be gluing that decodable in your reading journal. So I hope you brought it back to school. All right. Next, we'll go on Lexia and do literacy centers. Okay, so we will. We will go on da, 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 Lexia Core 5 reading program on your iPad. You can pump your brains with knowledge. We are going to do so much. Yesterday, we actually did not have time to go on Lexia. So you have a lot of units that you need to pass today to, uh, to catch up for the week. And we have some other centers within the classroom. We have some different teachers in the room that will be meeting with groups, whether it's working on short vowel sounds, letter matchup, beginning sounds, ending sounds, building CVC words. Maybe you're doing classifying with cause and effect. And I want to show you a brand new center. We're going to have a special communication center. It's a do you like center. Just like our do you like questions that we have, all of the questions in here are, do you like questions? And when you go to this center, you'll be able to pick a question and you and your partner, whoever is with you, will be able to answer the question. For example, do you like baseball? Hmm, yes or no. So if you get this question, you're going to go ahead and answer it. And once you practice being a great communicator, you and your partner can pick another question from the bag. For example, do you like juice? Yes or no? So we have a do you like da -da -da, communication center for you to do as well at school in kindergarten. All right. So then we will expand vocabulary by listening to books. We will, and we're going to listen to a fiction book. Remember, fiction books are not true, and they're made up by the author, and we're going to be expanding vocabulary today. You're going to be practicing being a great communicator as we are expanding vocabulary, sharing our thinking, doing the communication center and other things. I speak clearly for a reason in a way that helps others understand me. Let's practice being a great communicator in kindergarten. Last, we'll write our first and last name. You need to be able to know, write, and spell your first and last name. we got to practice that. So we're going to work on uh, doing that and working on a uh, laminated sentence strip so that you can use all of the different lines. You know, you've got your, your plain line, the sky line, the grass line, and the worm line. It's all there. You're going to use that and some resources to be able to sm spell your first and last name. It is a great day, Love Miss Joyner. It is a great day. It's fantastic. Get your fans ready. Fantastic. Our do you like question for today in our T chart is do you like winter hats? Well, do you? Think about your answer and get ready to be a great communicator and share your reason why. Do you like winter hats? 